What's up, guys? So, I just wanted you guys to see what I look like right now in the reflection of my phone. I got my GoPro on my head, and I got this idea from Tana Makes on YouTube. I watch her vlogs and her videos a lot. And she did a maker point of view when she was, um, for I think a few of her uh, videos, and I thought that was a good idea because. I have a GoPro, obviously, it's on my head, and I used to use this for adventures and hiking and stuff like that, and I never really did anything with the footage, but um, now I'm going to. My first time using it for footage, and it's for candle making. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making, um, I don't know exactly how many I'm going to be making, but my goal is to fill up all of these shelves with stock so that I'm ready just ready for the next few weeks and my next pop-up which is next month and just I just want to be prepared with a lot more stock than I usually have because there are other things that I want to focus on too and I just want to get all of my candle making out of the way in one go so each of these shelves holds probably about a hundred candles and there are three empty or three shelves and a little space right here, so I'm just going to try to fill up as much as I can. I have 4 ounce jelly jars all right here. Um, I'm going to put a wholesale option on my um, Etsy too now. Because I want to sell them in sets of 12. So I got these 3 ounce, oh sorry, I got these 8 ounce jelly jars and I have 5 boxes of these. And then... I have a bunch of gold tins right here, but yeah, I'm waiting for the wicks and they don't come till Thursday, so this candle making sesh will last over a few days because I don't have the supplies, but today I'm going to do what I can, and then I'll just show you the jelly jars. These are the little ones, boop, boop. and then I also have, oh. <laughs> I also have my amber jars right here. These are what I made so far in the last few days. Um, I'm going to fill them up and put them on that top shelf. So yeah, I'm going to have them organized by gold tins on top, the random <laughs> shelf on the second shelf, and then the third one will be my jelly jars and my wholesale candles. And then the bottom will be the amber jars. But yeah, these ones I've made so far. This is already like 50 candles, but the video, this the title of this video is going to be called Making Over 200 Candles, and I don't know if I'm going to include this in that number because I already made these a few days ago and that's like cheating and I don't want to cheat. <laughs> but yeah, let's just fill these up on the shelf for now so I can make space for my candle making. Okay, so I've lined up all the little 4 ounce jelly jars. These are smaller, so they're easier to do. Um, they hold, they're 4 ounce jelly jars, but they hold 3 ounces, so that's what I put on the label. 
but um, yeah, so here I have 60 candles already. Um, I'm starting off with these, not just because they're easier, but because I don't have wicks for the other three containers, which are way bigger. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm starting off with. I'm probably going to make about four different scents. So for pitchers, I only have the four pound one and the two pound one. This is why I like to do everything in batches and do a lot of candles at once because um, just switching over between fragrances too many times makes it kind of difficult. But yeah, every time I finish one batch, I just wipe it down and then I start the new one. So I have a lot of wax in here so far. If you want to know where I got this from, it holds 18 pounds of wax and it's much easier than doing the double boiler method if you're making a lot of candles at once. And my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas and it was from Etsy and um, I will link it below. My mom brought over this table that's like a... <laughs> it looks like it's from a kid's room but it's like a basketball, baseball table and I was like, Mom, I'm not going to use that. And then I ended up putting it in this corner just so I could put the wax box on top because I used to have it down there and I would just have to bend down and put wax every time. But now I have it up here, which makes it a lot easier. Oh my god, also, <laughs> I'm using a eggshell from one of my Easter eggs uh, to scoop up the wax. Please don't judge me. I am literally over here using what I can and I don't care! This is why I started a YouTube channel, so I could grow, <laughs> so I can eventually make more money, so I can buy better supplies, so I can continue to do what I'm doing. So if you are watching, you are definitely supporting me, and I thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to keep growing my candle business. I want to keep learning and then helping out others as I go. So I just want to keep making these videos. So if you're watching and if you like my videos and if you subscribe to them or comment on them, then that helps me a bunch of And then I'll have, eventually I'll have a nice scooper, but honestly this one works better. I was using a candle container to scoop up my wax before, but this holds a lot more, so it's much easier. <laughs> and if you're going to ask what kind of wax I use, it is 464 Golden Wax from Candle Science. I used to use I used to use Soy 10 from Cal Candle Supply, and um, I would combine it with the 464 wax, and it would be smooth every single time, and like so buttery. But they're, they're always out of stock, plus they don't ship as fast as Candle Science, so I kind of stopped using, I kind of stopped stressing over the Soy 10, so now I just use 464 Golden Wax. So yeah, they have the little uh, temperature control over here. It goes all the way up to 400 degrees, which is crazy, but I just put it on a little below 200. So I use CD8 in the 4 ounce jelly jars. So I'm just putting the um, warning labels on. They're all facing down so I can do this more easily. And my wax is melting over there. Over there. labeled with warning labels. Um, I think the wax is almost pretty still melting. Don't mind the vacuum, but now I'm gonna pick the scents that I'm gonna do. 
I didn't really think this part out, but I think I'm gonna do Love Spell um, and Lavender. Basically some popular ones. Um, should I do coffee? No. Spiced honey and tonka. kind of tired of doing coffee, even though it's so good, but I've just done it so many times. kind of want to do something new today. I would do eucalyptus, but this is empty, and I have more coming um, this week, probably. Banana nut burn. Sea salt and orchid. Oh, Fraser Fur. Okay, I'm gonna do this one because this is a this is a scent that somebody requested, but he never ended up ordering the candles that I made. But I do like the scent. It's a woodsy. It's like um, cypress and bayberry, but kind of lighter. So I'm gonna do these four. So Fraser Fur, Spice Honey and Tonka, Lavender, and Love Spell. I'm just gonna set these here. This is broken. I just use it to mix, <laughs> to stir things around. So for my thermometer, I use this electric one now. While I work, I wanted to talk about more about why I started a YouTube channel. But yeah, earlier I mentioned that I just work with what I have and I wanted to make my YouTube channel while I'm in this little space and while I don't have all my shit together yet because I want people to see like the beginning stages of my journey and I also want to be able to look back on it and see where I came from and how I started because I know that my business is going to keep growing I know that my YouTube is going to keep growing and nothing um Nothing motivates me more than looking back at my past and seeing how far I've come. So I didn't want to wait until I had the perfect studio or the perfect like business situation or anything like that because I want people to see the truth. I don't want it to be a whole highlight reel. Like I share this shed, I don't know if you can see it, but I share the shed with my boyfriend because he brews beer. So half of it is his and half that little section is mine. Yeah, we work together. We make the most of what we have. And one day maybe we can get a much bigger space. But for now, this is what I have. And I want people to see that they don't have to wait until they have this massive workspace or like, I don't know, a ton of money to finally start the business of their dreams because I'm doing it through from this little space I even started in the kitchen in the house and that had even less space for me to work with so yeah I just wanted to show that through my YouTube I want to be as authentic as possible yes I do do like aesthetic shots and you don't always see this whole thing when I do um, when I use this camera, my Sony, but I don't know. I just wanted to show the realness of it, I guess, instead of waiting. Plus, plus I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for like five years now or something, maybe more. Um, but I, it was way different. I never knew that I was going to start a candle business. I used to actually live in my van in when I worked in Burbank because I was obsessed with the idea of traveling full time and all I wanted to do was um, save up for traveling so I was renting a room with my cousin's boyfriend at the time um, and his family in Panorama City 
My rent wasn't even that much, but I still in my head, like after I went on this week long trip to Hawaii uh, with my friends, I decided that I just wanted to save up for traveling because I loved it. And it wasn't just that trip that changed everything. I have always loved the outdoors, hiking. I've mentioned it a lot in videos that I wanna buy a van someday, like a real van that I can stand up in because Back then in Burbank, I was living in my minivan. I only did it for four months, but four months is a pretty long time. And <laughs> that whole time, I wanted to make a YouTube channel on my weird journey. <laughs> because, yeah, that's not a normal thing to do. I mean, maybe now it is, but this was like five years ago, four years ago, and not as many people were living in their vans. And yeah, that was just like my main focus and I really wanted to start a YouTube channel back then. And it wasn't until this year that I started it, literally um, in January, five months ago. And now I'm just like, dang, I can't imagine how far I'd be if I did start my YouTube channel years ago, but I believe that everything happens for a reason and I probably would be in a way different living situation. I probably wouldn't have ever met my boyfriend. I probably would have never made candles or connected with the small business community that I have been a part of this last past year in the place that I've lived for half of my life. I never would have met all these people that were around me for half of my life and I didn't know it. I'm not mad at all about how things turned out because I love where I live. I love my little forest town that I live in. I love that I'm not far away from my family at all. I think that if things played out the way I wished they had played out back then, then I probably wouldn't have wouldn't be able to see my family as much. I probably would be living somewhere far away and I only live 30 minutes away from them. My point is, is that I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and um, if you've seen one of my least viewed videos on this channel, it's my, uh, my camping video. So me and my boyfriend, let's go camping and when we do, we use his Subaru and we have our whole set up back there. He built a platform bed for us to sleep in and we have our ARB awning that we use and we just have all this gear and even before I met my boyfriend I was into um, the outdoors and stuff but meeting him and realizing that we had the same interests it was just like icing on the cake and yeah so basically I made that video and it's my least viewed video and that's understandable because this channel is mostly geared towards candles and my business and I know a lot of you follow me for that, 90% of you follow me for that, but I think that I'm going to make a separate channel, a separate channel for my um, adventures and my outdoor living and yeah, I just, I really wanted to try to do both on this channel. <laughs> But I think that's unrealistic and I do want to grow in both so I think I'm going to make a separate channel so that it's more niched down on my other channel. So I'll announce that when I get to it and if you still want to follow me on both channels then that would be cool. explaining as much as I go, but if you want to know, I uh, 
waited until the wax heated up until 185 and then I poured it in to the pitcher and I added the fragrance right, right away. Um, I did 10% fragrance for lavender. So 10% of fragrance to wax. And then I waited. I'm waiting for it to cool down until 150. Oh, it's 149, so I'm going to pour it now. I don't know if I'll ever do... Ah! I don't know if I'll ever do a um, tutorial on how to make candles. I kind of have one from my... Um, how to make wood dough bowl candles, and those pretty much have the same instructions, kind of, that I would have for regular containers, but... It's, yeah, it might be kind of different, but yeah... But for now, I just like the vlog style. There are a lot of candle tutorials that you can watch, like candle making and candle business uh, YouTubers out there, like Tiana Coates. Um, actually, I don't, I don't know if she does a how to make candles. And then there's, of course, Memory Box Candle Co., Erica, I've watched, like, all of her videos, and Jeff Stanley, Black Tie Barn Co., I think that's what it's called, and yeah. to wipe it good to step away really quick because um, I ran out of space on my SD card and had to transfer um, all the videos I just took to my laptop so I'm back and these have already solidified and I ended up splitting them with this little strip that I have of cardboard from packages so that I know where um, where the split is between each candle scent but usually I'll put the labels on before so I know which ones are which but I'm winging it today and I don't know exactly how many I'm making of each, so yeah. But the next one I'm going to make is Love Spell. So this is why I don't like using the two pound pitcher because when it's overfilled like this, because it's when it's like almost to the top and it, eh, it's kind of scary to pour. Moving oh on and it kind of it spills everywhere.
Josh wants to do. Look at my photo shoot. <laughs> right now? Yeah. What do you want to do for Mother's Day? Thank you. 